Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome back to our Lagrange Mittens playthrough of Humankind. We are going to keep going with the theme of uh, random key phrases to distinguish our Let's Plays from one another. And uh, I think the most nonsensical, the better. Um, it's going to be a challenge to make a thumbnail for this. I, I, I don't know what it's going to be yet. Because I'm still uh, recording the, I'll record the first few episodes today, I think, uh, and then get to work on those things. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, there's definitely some territory I want to claim over here. Although I think our priority might be to generally expand in the direction of that copper, which is over here. Which really means I want to grab either this territory or this territory next. I do like with all the rivers here, it's going to be a very strong territory. But positionally, this one might be a little bit better. Um, especially if, let's say, we decide to make Polaris Australis um, a city in and of itself. Uh, then it could expand in this direction or something. So I don't know. Um, but ultimately, I think we do want to claim both of those. Oops, sorry, my phone just made some noise in the background. And uh, I think with you, I just want to move towards the sanctuary, which is apparently going to take a little while to get there because of all these clips. We do have some rough terrain over here. We have a hot... Wow, we didn't even have vision over that. A hostile lair over there, which we would very much like to burn down before it summons some uh, grizzlies. Although, we could kill the grizzlies for all kinds of battle. Oh, there's a cliff there. That's why. I couldn't tell when I was zoomed out. Could kill the, the, the grizzlies for more battlefield experience and whatnot, but um, it could just prove to be a little bit annoying. So I think the idea here is no we're going to go ahead and just ransack that. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm merge these two up, because I think we really do want to put a little bit of fence in this area. Did that cancel the ransack? It may have, actually. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to prioritize claiming this area. All right. We're going to want to at some point, but we've got other things we need to do. Um, as for you, yeah, this is like, like all, I mean, I guess it's really defensible for whatever that might be worth, but oof. Okay, so I can put down another Confucian school over here. Well, yep, yeah, that was the plan, I think, and I think there's no reason to delay that, unless we want to get more food going sooner. Which is something. We're not rushing through the era. Huh. No. Let me go ahead. Uh, not a farmer's quarters there. Confucian school over here. Let's get that down. That's going to be very good. I don't think there's a four mountain adjacency anywhere. At least not on this side. This is there's a big, great divide going on here. Sorry, did I just trigger some Avatar fans? Um, but I think we're okay. Now, speaking of food, actually, let's do this. I just realized that was growing quite slowly. It is going to take a while to build this. You know, we are lacking on some infrastructure, um, which is hurting, although we can compensate for that by attacking another district soon. No reason not to take natural right. I mean, the narrator is like, yeah, of course, there was any, never any uh, doubt. It, uh, maybe with divine, mind, divine Mandate, he says something similar, but we got to go Why for the influence generation. A question? Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. I guess the reason he's saying why this is this isn't even a question is for different reasons. But for me, it's like, no, I mean, spend 10 to get five per turn. It's definitely something we're going to need to get going on. Uh, ransack successful over there. We've got some curiosities we could potentially pop. Um, I think what we need to do is we do need to attach something. I think we can, we have to attach Polaris Australis to, um, to Mittens. How much is it going to cost us? 80 because I think it really does need the passive boost and that's a really really good slice of land to do that um, so I don't think it's going to get citified uh, which means I think I've got to prioritize that which means I don't think we're going to plop down an outpost for, for a couple of turns here while that builds up is this all cliff oh okay we can descend over there although I don't know if we care about that I'm wondering about putting this guy on auto explore yeah, it's fine I'll just go ahead and do a little bit of this Okay, population game in Australia. Oh, hello. Where'd that sanctuary? Was it high ground or low ground? Dang you. Turn off the auto explorer. I was going to say something. Oh, if only I hadn't been lazy and turned it on, but I probably wouldn't have moved my unit that way, so I don't think I would have spotted it. Lots of lush terrain over here. Pop down there. I could attack this one. I do have one unit that's slightly damaged. I think it's probably worth going for, though. Now, we don't have any era scores yet, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to swap these two. Keep my damage one on the highest ground, although I don't think it can contribute to the battle there. Can I pull it back? I suppose if I went here, but then I'm going to be attacking on first turn, so now we'll start with this. And Oh, you could attack from that angle. Okay, well, let's start with this first. 
and then do that. Oh, that's quite good. All right. No reason not to go a hunting. Irrigation. Now, of course, the, we get bonus stars for Estate here, which is interesting because, of course, what we really do well as the Joe is science. But it's Estate that they want, which we may have a hard time getting those stars. Uh, I guess go here. Over this way. Oh, we discovered a, a fancy forest. All right, excellent. Why don't you come down here, jump onto the river for future movement rate. And we'll go and pop that, because why not? And I know that we had the um, the sanctuary somewhere, but I'm going to come and just reveal... Oh, it is low ground. Well, I can't quite reach it. I want to come here to reveal these tiles first. Oh, I'm in a curiosity. Well, that's not bad. Uh, one more turn, and we can attach Australis. So, I guess we're going to need to make sure we get domestication and then bronze working to get our unique units. And that's delaying stone working, which is maybe unappealing. Although, we're, we don't even have the horses attached, right? Oh, no! Horses are, well, they're not, they're not being worked, but they are in our territory. That's good. We are two territories away from getting the copper still, but that's not so bad. We'll pop that. At least we get some more um, some more influence, which might help us move towards the steep. We'll see. And yeah, I want to come up this way. There's a little bit of fog of war. Hop onto the river. Okay. Now as for you, I think I'm gonna just walk down here. It wouldn't be bad. Like at this point, I, I'm actually eager to face neighbors. We're not close to anyone, which means it's gonna be a good opportunity for like diplomacy and setting up trade. Shut up! I can totally be diplomatic sometimes. I think I, I missed a turn attaching um, Polaris Australis over here. Let's get that. That's going to give Lagrange Mittens a ton more production. And actually, I'm going to spend the money here to buy out the Confucian School and save a few turns, which is going to be great. Um, and maybe I will wait more food over here. Now, that has opened up the possibility for another Confucian School over here, which uh, if we can get it over here, it'll be adjacent to two things. We may not necessarily be super concerned to get the other one up. Um, I think we're going to work on some basic infrastructure first. And so Granary will give us an extra eight food right now. Flood Irrigation... I think will give us more because of over here, because it should give us an extra two, four, six, eight over here. Um, we won't get food there. Uh, but we will get another food here, which is being exploited. So I think the flood irrigation will be better. And then after that, I think we start putting down some farmer's quarters along the rivers, which should work pretty well. Your stability is okay. Yeah, let's get that. Um... So I guess, yeah, I guess for the copper, it is really this and then that. It's true, so let's move in this direction and be ready to start doing some claims over there. We may claim the, the copper territory without it being adjacent to a city. Unless I turn... Um, unless I turn this territory into a city. Which, actually, I suspect that might be a decent territory with the frame that's there. Oh, right, there's still the sanctuary, but oh well. Well, we're not going to be able to walk past this, but let's go here just to expand our vision as much as possible. And then what we might do is move these two guys together, just to end up with a hit squad that can actually go after maybe some of the uh, the critters we run into. Got a first star. We're going to create our first religion. Um. So in my current Twitch Let's Play, we're Shamanists, but in our YouTube one, we're Prolethism. So we'll go Shamanism here, just to mix it up. Aerostar Science, Warriors and stuff are unlocked. Uh, let's go and pop that. And yeah, you're done. Okay, I do want to get these guys together. Which is going to take a bit. Well, you know what? Maybe I can move you over here, because there's the Sanctuary. We'll plan on doing that, and then you can meet up with the other guy. 
Okay, what are we looking at in this territory? Yeah, some really good tiles kind of throughout. Um, I think I'm fine with grabbing one of these guys. Um, I mean, the closer we are to the mountains... What, what about this? That's interesting they're suggesting this. This is a total of 22. This is a total of 23. 21. 22. The nice thing about this is we would be able to start a Confucian school instantly. Over here for two. That's also 22. Yeah, I think I'll go here. And I like the fact, since so it's going to take 8 and 11 turns for these outposts to get built, here it's only going to take 5, which is still pretty slow. Um, but I think that's going to be a good balance of things. Carcass of Riches. Wow, then. Oh, yes. Patriotic for cheaper units. Prosperous for money. Bountiful for food. We're going to go Bountiful for food. Definitely what we're looking for over here. We don't have enough money to accelerate things. That's fine. The Flood Irrigation will get there. Um, in fact, I wonder if it might be worth... I'll shave a turn off flood irrigation, which will then give us more food afterwards. It might be worth waiting things a little bit towards the production side. Right, so you are going to burn that down. And your job is just to move this way as quickly as possible, which apparently is going to involve you moving over there, which is fine and groovy. Sacred ground. Bronze working is there. Plundering is there. Um, let's do that. And then merge you in over there. And then for science, yeah, we can unlock our unique unit. We also get these roads. Which, because the unique unit doesn't matter yet, we can't work it yet. Lumber yards. Um, the mason stoneworks is going to be worth so much production for us. On the other hand, like, it's going to be a little bit before we can actually build the stonework, because I think we have to put down some farmer's quarters first. So I think I'm going to wheel just because it's going to unlock the roads for us. And that is going to be kind of convenient. All right, your job is to move over here now. So we're going to want to get that copper online. I should definitely be ready to claim some more territory over here. In fact... Uh, are these mountains? No, they're not mountains, because mountains are impossible. Just rough terrain. There are mountains over here, which could conceivably mean putting an outpost here. For, no, that's just crap. I think we just go ahead and slap it down here, because it's a good, strong tile, and that's going to be okay. Um... Or, do I save to turn Nylon into a city? I don't even plant with these guys yet, right? I just get them over here. I turn Nylon into a city and then attach, and then um, outpost this and quickly attach it. That might be the best use of our points. Also, that we should be running this. That should have been a little sooner, I think. Right we may have missed wrong. one. Not to mention I think we could have saved a few points on nylon. Alright, well, we'll move you over here and be ready to go. I mean, maybe I should send you out and explore, but... power of water itself in order to feed your people. Yeah, water tech pretty good. Make you popular. I guess I'll wander a little on the river here just to see if we spot a respawn sanctuary. I don't know if I should be rushing stone circles. We don't need the stability right now. The faith is nice, of course. Um, maybe I just slap down the horse ranch. Or we start going on our farmer's quarters, which, yeah, see, these are quite good. They're going to be using the adjacent rivers quite strongly. Hmm. Yeah, let me get let me get the farm going. We need some population, and that'll only get better when. Well, it actually won't get any meaner when we attach this territory. So it'll make a difference. So yeah, you're gonna just chill over here. I mean, we're gonna have to pick a, a spot for it. None of which appear to be very strong, but that's okay. Yeah. Anything down this river? I don't expect so. No. Okay, I'm just come back over here. It's gonna be okay. I said come back over here. 
one turn away. And yeah, I think it's 160 or 180 to make our second city. So we're going to be in good shape. And then, yeah, you just rest here. We're going to grab with this territory, but not quickly. We don't need to run the independent peoples thing right now. Although, does that mean we've found independent people? Oh, over here. This place is totally sus. Um, I think... I'm going to go and bribe. And then do this as well. To get that going up a little bit. Is it 180? No, it is 160. And that's what I thought. So, let's we'll start our second city over here. Yeah, that's going to be decent. Do I want to start with it right away? Yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and start the Confucian School immediately. Let's make sure you're on uh, city growth to start off with. And you're just going to wait. And you're just going to wait, but you are going to be next. Where are we going to be planting this? Oh, we can't get the, the preview, and I sure as heck can't do math. I guess no matter what, it's just going to be a super high productivity site. There's desert tiles over here. I think what I'll, I might I might end up going here. I don't know. I'm sure we can get more production if I move somewhere else. But I know we're going to be building the quarters over here. So yes, I don't know. Not the quarters, but the um, uh, the tile workshop sites. Um, we're going to want organized warfare before we go to actual war. But that apparently is going to be a little further away. I think we can go. It's carpentry and masonry, right? Yeah. Go ahead and grab those. If nothing else, they're cheap, so they'll get us our era stars. Agrarian star, that, science star, hooray. So we got one more science star to go, which I don't think was going to be a problem. Um, right, so you over here. I mean, it's all pretty much the same. I guess this would give us the best initial stuff. Maybe, I mean, maybe there was somewhere else, but that, this is going to be okay. Jewel, which is going to be attached to Feng Zhao, Feng Zhao, over here later on. And yeah, you just, because we need 30 for this, yeah, so we'll just uh, skip a turn and attach you or claim you next turn. Um, so yeah, food 18 per turn. We do want more food, but I think at this point I'll go ahead and hook up the um, the horse ranch. That's going to be okay. So Lunar's cool. Solar does move us towards progression, but it's not like science is going to be a thing. For us, it's not going to be a problem. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll take Lunar, because I think we're going to take more progressive things later on. And I'd like to keep things in the middle for a little while. So that we can get the stability boost. So these are the Babylonians. It can only be an advantage to have a neighbor as smart as you are. Well, I don't know where they are, but okay. Let me throw another dose of money in there. Get that going, but I want to keep my influence. Because I know I want to claim here. Yeah, let's just grab that. That's going to be fine. Um... What do I want to grab next? Left, right. I mean, we've got a bit of a hole in here that we'd like to fill in. I don't know. At a glance, it's hard to see an advantage to either side. So probably we'll plan on moving this way. Yeah, we don't have enough influence to get the math going for us. Here, I'll just hop onto the river because it'll give us the best movement options for the next turn. Okay, Lagrange Mittens. We can start the Animal Barns because we do have food. I don't know if it's worth spending the four turn for five. Oh, right, it does give you the extra Farmer's Quarter adjacency. So if we start spamming those down, that'll be quite good. But we could also just start spamming them down. And again, there's the Confucian School over here, um, which is fine, but hardly God tier. Um, it doesn't even really do any um, bonus adjacency for other research quarters. I mean, other than research quarters sort of get it with themselves. Um, we've got enough farmers, it might be worth just doing a quick granary. Um, we have forest over here. I don't think we're working any woods tile right now for the lumber yard to give us a benefit. Yeah, it'd be nice in here if it gave us an indication as to how much that would be. But I don't, I don't think so. I think what we're really looking forward forward to is the stoneworks. Um, I mean, we could start putting down these, uh, wow, some of these quarters are pretty good, these maker's quarters. All right, I'm going to put down the animal barns first. 
Like, technically, building the farmer's quarters gives us more food quicker, though. They both take four turns. And this is going to be adjacent to a farmer's quarter, so it is going to get boosted. We're going to do that. We might want to, this territory here, add it to Lagrange Mittens, just because there's a lot of district adjacency that's not benefiting. I think we really would like to see um, Karaka over here attached to Lagrange Mittens, just because we're not going to take advantage of our tiles the same way. So I think when we do attach something else to our capital, is it is going to be Karaka. Although I don't know how much we're going to rush it. All right, Jewel is built. We would like to connect it pretty quickly. I think we go ahead and do that now. Give the production boost to our second city over here. Um, and then we'll be able to attach the... Yeah, when, I think there's still 13 turns left or something. Um, might have been 17. I don't know, maybe 13. So we at least have the production time over there. We didn't do much to add food, of course, um, because this is not a food-rich area, but the production boost will help us build other things, and that's going to be all right. Um, so you've done that. Is the sus territory? Oh, no, there it is. Couldn't see the little gray border over here. So this is as of yet unclaimed, and we may want to go and grab that. And yeah, probably this area over here. We did do the attachment. Yeah, that seems all right to me. Um, I don't know about fishing in the harbor right now. I think we're kind of, I think we'll grab the organized warfare. Oh, I didn't actually introduce myself to the Babylonians. Hey, you folks! Heartfelt greetings. Let us see if we can build a better world together. Force hold. Let's try trade luxuries. They're usually pretty willing to do that. Just flat out refused. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to go ahead and renounce I that. We'll try to defuse some things. Babel Holy crap, you're far away from us. <gasps> <gasps> what is this? Okay. Um, hello, Scout. Well, first of all, I get... Mm, no, you know what? We're going to move over here right away. What if they make a run on, on Feng? Oh, that'll be terrible. I think I've got to bring all my units over there. Oh, free warriors. That is very convenient. Get over here. I was hoping we'd have a little bit more time before we went into the warfare phase of the game, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Das? Das könnte euch gefallen. Yeah, I just asked you. Yes, I accept. Maybe they just needed a, a turn to consider. Um, well, let's go and officially meet these guys. Although, the second we meet them, hang on, the second they could start throwing some demands at me that could increase tension. Um, so I'm just going to park these guys in here. I'm going to want to disband them at some point. We'll split do. you. Grab that. And you're going to be moving over here. That's kind of a derpy path, but... Just move this way. That's going to have to be okay. Um, yeah, let's claim this territory. It's a little bit more balanced. So we'll just grab that. And yeah, we are gaining this faster, which is good. And then I think the idea will be to assimilate you, which will put us over our city limit by one, but again, not a big deal. Seed Stars has been unlocked. Oh yeah, right, it's spend money to get influence. I, I think I got it backwards. I was saying spend influence to get it, but... Um, although we've already got a lot of this, it will give us some influence, but, okay, let's hold off. I think we're okay. You are idle. Uh, right, you built the extra farmer's district, so now I think I want the animal barn, because I think this will effectively give us seven food, which is pretty good. And then that gets better and better as we add more stuff. And then maybe I'll get the stoneworks as well. Uh, game of prophecy. I don't... I mean, really, we could actually take a bit of a science hit. It's not costing us that much. Um, we, I think we'll just take Defiant, because our stability on uh, in Lagrange Mittens is fine right now. We've got an overkill of it. Um, being the Zhou is going to help that substantially. Karaka converted to our religion. That's fine and good. Um... I guess we'll go and explore over here. Yeah, merge in there and just sit here for a little bit. 
And then once we get this copper, we can pump out our unique units. And that's going to be really good. We only have two more techs to research in this era, and then we'll run out of techs. Um, but we'll obviously get a star here. We still need two more. Well, one more district will do it. And our population should climb and do that. We actually might run out of science to research in this era. You know, it's first world problems, but we might run out of science. Come over here. You know, I think I'm just going to put you on auto-explore. Yes, and hopefully you do actually explore. And not just hunt things down. Um, yeah, let's go for the copper mine. To give us maximum options as quickly as possible. Stability is okay here. Although we might want to build our holy unit. There's our science star. So we only need one more to go. Um, probably it'll be our agrarian star that hits. But we're going to be... Oh, we do have some more tech because of the sailing side. Okay, that's not so bad. Um, we're going to be incentivized to change era as soon as we run out of text to research. So I don't think we're going to stay in this very long, which means we probably won't farm the extra fame. They have a certain appeal, the Olmecs. Be careful that your people don't start liking the neighbors more than you. Okay, these are Babylonians. They want a non-aggression pact. That sounds great. Now, Olmecs, how you doing? You're a condescending. Yeah, we're less powerful, great people. but maybe we can get luxuries trading? This proposition should okay. be an Again, I'm going to go ahead and renounce this and try to defuse the situation as best as we can. Um, let's come over this way, because there's some areas we don't know about yet. Uh, so I can start making my uniques. It is going to be pretty slow here. I would like to get some infrastructure down first. Now, you actually have a fair amount of farming, not to mention lots of rivers for the irrigation stuff. Okay, maybe I'll get some basics over here first. Now, you're not actually capped on stability. We'd like to be above 90 because I think it increases the chance that we get positive events. So, let's go and put down the flood irrigation, which actually will give us a fair amount of food right away. And, um, I think I will go ahead and disband you and you. Now, I'm a little worried this might trigger something from the AI, but they already consider themselves to be more powerful than I am. Um, so the idea is in Lagrange Mittens over here, as soon as it's done at Stoneworks, I think we're going to start generating military units. Hopefully you don't get instantly attacked. Uh, wonders. No, but... Oh, yeah, you can't do... Hold on. What we actually need to do... Oh, you're claiming this area. That's unfortunate. Let me uh, come over here. What we need to do is claim some areas that we can attach to Feng. Oh, we're going to protect... How you doing there, sus? So, next turn, I think we can go ahead and hit this button. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here, and we're going to cross our fingers that we don't get attacked by their Olmecs currently. Um, the brown peoples over here, because that would be pretty bad for us. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.